Difficult and tragic, that's how the Marinette Police Department describes a house fire that took someone's life Monday afternoon. As we first alerted you, emergency responders found a woman inside that Marinette home. She later died from her injuries. Emily Roberts has a first alert update as we learn more about the victim and what happened. Police tape still surrounds this home on Logan Avenue in Marinette, days after a fire broke out. Officials say the only person inside the burning home, Susan Nielsen, needed help. When fire EMS arrived, um, they worked as a team. The fire department went into the home. They extricated the female from the house. They gave her to the paramedics with the Aurora Medical Center Bay Area. Wednesday morning, Action 2 News learned 58-year-old Nielsen died at the hospital. From the street, you can see boarded up windows and charred siding. Public Information Officer Brad Bile says seven agencies worked together, including the county medical examiner. Everybody responded rather quickly. Everybody had their role. Um, unfortunately, this is a rather difficult and tragic incident for not only the city and the community as a whole, but the Nielsen family. The investigation is in its early stages, but police say the fire doesn't look suspicious or criminal. Our role as a police officer, once again, is to go there and make sure that there's no foul play and that we ultimately correlate everything to the family and make sure that the family gets all their answers. Just at this time, just we ask that you give the family your deepest condolences. The Division of Criminal Investigation's Fire Marshal is looking into what sparked the flames and will be the first to alert you both on air and online as soon as we learn the exact cause. In Marinette, Emily Roberts, Action 2 News.